Okay, so I did this really nice video, and I got it all done. I put it in the editing software and figured out that my microphone was shut off. So I have to do a voiceover. So if you like this video, please uh, share, like, share, and uh, we're going to be adding reference arrows to our frame now and here we're selecting the reference arrow or triangle and assigning it to the right hand post as that is a reference face and a reference edge and now we'll assign it to the left hand post on the other side of the building and I like to do it in the middle of the timber on the reference face. Now this area in the middle is a doorway so this door post has to have the reference arrow on it on the correct side which is towards the center of the doorway. So now our three posts have our reference edges and reference faces labeled. The queen post is also referenced on the outside on both sides so we'll rotate our arrow around or our uh, triangle and put it on the right hand post. The next is to label the hypotenuse of the right triangle of the braces. We're going to continue now with the hypotenuse of the right triangle which makes the brace and we're going to select the triangle to align with the hypotenuse and we have to select the, the line to align to and then we can designate where it goes in the center of the line. So we'll do all three left hand braces the same that show in this view of bent one and then we'll rotate the triangle for the right hand braces and we will position that in the s center of the hypotenuse of the right triangle that cre is created by the brace The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the open triangle on the adjacent faces of the horizontal timbers. The tie beam top surface is the reference, so the adjacent is the outside. And also with the collar beam or spreader beam. Next we have to do the rafters. The top of the rafter is a reference plane so the side of the rafter towards the bent is the adjacent and I have to correctly align it to the slope of the rafter. I could do it right the first time we wouldn't be wasting all of this time watching me do it twice there we go well, now I pick the point and tell it to split the line and we have to rotate it to a second direction for the upper rafter as we can see now that isn't correct that's on an angle and I like to have it aligned correctly for the upper rafter and again we'll point it towards the slope of the roof and put it in the middle next we'll do the other two rafters the second the right hand upper rafter middle and 
now the lower rafter on the right. Again in the middle. Now that we have the, our, all our, now we have to erase these incorrect lines or delete them. Now that we have all our timbers labeled, we can save our drawing and that will help us to understand where to put the joints in the timbers themselves. So we'll now look at the three-dimensional drawing and we'll look at the center post as we have to add a tenon to connect it to the tie beam. So I have saved previous tenon settings in my library. So I will select the proper 8x8 eight eight post to tie beam joint from my list of saved joints with a 5 inch tenon and then I'll select my post and then my tie beam and it'll ask me, do you want to reduce this side? And I'll say yes. And it'll say, you want the tenon over here? And I'll say no, I want it over there. And it'll say, okay, then we'll draw it right here. And there is the tenon and the reduction. And we'll continue on with adding the joints, the rest of the bent, and we'll do that in another video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and like and share and subscribe.